All right, y'all, I messed up the whole video, so I'm back. Um, we're still, <laughs> I was trying to move the doggone thing, but we're still doing the um, the portobello mushroom sandwiches. So I will just leave the dog on camera where it's at because it, the whole thing just fell and cut off. So, so crazy. But like I said before, Adrian's cutting up all the veggies. And I'm, I'm going to be starting cooking shortly, actually. So as he um, give me the bell peppers and the mushrooms and all that kind of stuff to put into this pan. So I'll be right back. I'm not touching anything. <laughs> like, Lord have mercy. It's a strange thing, I tell you. <laughs> okay. And this is a um, vegetarian recipe. Um, we're going to be using this. What is it called? Soft French bread to, of course, put the mushroom Philly steaks in, I guess you can say. So this is what we're going to actually be using. So once he gets done, he'll just come over here. You all will see him. We can tell y'all who he is. But I'm not touching the thing anymore. <laughs> oh, well, let me see. This recipe calls for a half a sliced onion, two large portobello mushrooms. And we're actually using, I think, are we using four of those? What? The mushrooms. Yeah. Okay, we're using all four. We have actually have four portobello mushrooms. So we'll be using that, but you can use as many as you want and make as much as you want or as little as you want, you all. One medium bell pepper or as much as you want of that as well. Um, some uh, Two tablespoons of dried oregano. A half a teaspoon of um, black pepper. One teaspoon, I'm sorry, one tablespoon of flour. One fourth cup of vegetable stock. One tablespoon of light soy sauce. And I forgot to get that, I'll get that shortly. And whatever kind of cheese you want to use, and of course the bread or roll. And like I said, we're using that French bread um, loaf right there. So let me find, I didn't take the cheese out at all either. But let me see, let me find the soy sauce. I'll get the soy sauce. Let me get the soy sauce. I'm going to hit your arm. I think we used this one here, the last time, the lime stuff. This one, okay. Okay. Like I said, that's the recipe, y'all. So I hope y'all are doing well today. And I know this is my first video with me and Adrian here. And thank you, Bill, for tuning in. I mean, everybody asking who Adrian was. Well, y'all didn't even know what his name was. Well, some of you all probably, I'm sure y'all did. But a lot of you all didn't. So I asked him whether he wanted to do a video today, cooking food and that kind of thing. So it was on today. So um, I'll think of a topic, though, because I want to talk to y'all about I had a client earlier. Um, let me see how this fun. I don't know what was going on in the whole situation. It sounds like the, the, the guy that she was with was being very controlling, telling her she couldn't go down to um, downstairs to get this information from the rental office, even though they were asking for her to leave and all these kind of things. I have no idea what was going on, but the message I have for you all today is, of course, when you're in a relationship, it has to be a relationship where there's, of course, two people given, given, trying to work together towards a certain goal, I guess I put it that way, or how many ever goals y'all have set up. Because um, like I said, with her, it just sounds like it was a bunch of control going on. Um, and I guess intimidation and fear is what it sounds like. I have no idea if she's being abused, physically abused. It sounds like she could have been. I don't know. But like I said, it just sounds like it was a lot of stuff going on and she was being blamed for all these things. So like I said, just keep that in mind when you're in a relationship, <clears throat> you're being blamed, you're being told that you can't go down to the office to figure out these things and you're paying the rent because she was paying the rent and all this kind of stuff as well. I don't know if it was taking the money. I have no idea what it sound like, but I have really have no idea. But like I said, when you, whenever you're in a relationship, make sure that it's a two-way street. You can't have a relationship where there's one person doing this, one person doing this, one person taking the money, one person doing nothing. It's, it's usually not going to work out. It's going to be a lot of chaos, drama, as I heard today. Chaos, drama, fighting, and all those kind of things going on. So please, y'all, just keep that in mind. Would you say so to Adrian, or what you think? Uh-huh. Okay, I don't know if you have any other anything you want to say about it, but... But like I said, that was definitely just, it was just a mess earlier, right? So I put it that way. Like, my goodness, what is going on, people? Get it together. I know we have all kinds of relationships. Of course, I'm not perfect either. Have had all, kind, had all kind of relationships as well. But at some point, you realize that the relationship that you're in, if it's not working, it's just not working. I guess I put it that way. And if it's not working, you have a choice to either stay with the relationship that's not working and being happy. You have a choice to, of course, um, seek out whether it's a coach like me or relationship counselor therapist and along those lines or leave that relationship you don't have to stay anything where you're being controlled and unhappy i was in a relationship like that as well being controlled or trying to be controlled i guess i put it that way unhappy and all those kind of things i ended that relationship as well i'm not going after seven and a half years i'm not going to keep going through that kind of situation nothing's changing um the other person wasn't of course making any straps of course change like i said at some point you have to make a decision and that decision hopefully is for the best for yourself, not for the other person. 
Because yes, the other person is going to be upset, I'm sure, but that's all right. Just do it. Make sure that you're being safe. Of course, not being, I guess, the, per the person's not going to try to jump on you or fight you or anything like that. If that's the case, just call the police or call family, call somebody to come and assist you. I'll put it that way. Oh, gracias. Gracias, gracias. And as y'all see, Adrian still. Oh, did you want to introduce yourself? Hey, okay, he'll, oh, he's still cutting, so hold on, y'all. <laughs> but I don't know if you want to talk about anything. Do you have anything you want to talk about? No? Okay, just want to make sure. I know it's already smelling tasty over here. I can say that. Do you think we need any more onions? Well, if they have onion, it's fine. I think they have if they, Okay, okay. So we're going to, of course, once... Well, I need to get the cheese. I don't have the cheese. Cheese, 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 cheese. Okay. So we're going to find it. I have mozzarella and I have a Kobe Jack. Um, I hope they both are okay. So we haven't used them in a while. So I, I, this was not even open. So y'all, if this is molded, I'm throwing it away because I have no idea. <laughs> we've had instances where we've had stuff so long and it just molds and we never use it. But this is actually okay. It's actually mozzarella cheese. Um, I guess I can kind of, do you want me to shred it up or just cut it up in slices? Shred it up. Shred it up. I can shred that. Okay. But I wasn't sure what kind of cheese we're going to be using. We, I thought we had enough slices, but we don't have enough slices in there. And then anything else you need? Um, how many? Uh, you probably want to use some more mushroom, mushrooms and stuff. Um, so I know it's all three of us in there. Okay, yeah. We probably want to do a lot. Well, unless, I don't think that's good enough. Probably some more mushrooms and maybe you could do more bell pepper if you want or onion. It's up to you, but enough for us to all have some tasty food. I don't know how much. I know sometimes it cooks down. Because <laughs> it definitely cooks down. The last time it cooked down. And it actually got watery. And I'm sitting up feel like, why is it so watery? I guess the mushrooms must have liquid or something. Yeah, mushrooms have water in it. They just say water. Okay, because I'm like, what is going on? Craziest thing, I tell you. I'm sitting up trying to cook this stuff. And it was getting, I mean, the, 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 the liquid took a little while. So I guess not like the recipe said because it said this was cooking like 10 minutes and went to them but it took me about 20 minutes in order to get the actual juice off the um the mushroom and onion mixture do you want any of this coffee jack cheese too or just the mozzarella that's the mozzarella mozzarella okay okay and i hope y'all doing well today i don't know billy if you're still on here let me know how you're doing work and actually where, where, where are you all tuning in from I don't know what city state you're in, where you're at in the world. Definitely let me make sure you let me know and put it down in the comments. And has anybody ever made this recipe? I don't know if anybody has made this recipe. I've made it before, I've had it before. Uh, it was a few months ago, I, I think. About two months ago or three months ago or something like that. That I've had it. Uh oh. I didn't turn the skill on. I know, I'm just trying to. Oh, okay. 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 Uh -oh. hmm. Like I said, we're definitely cooking, so come join us. And this is a good recipe for, of course, families. Um, if you well, if you want the meat, just go ahead and cook it with the meat. I haven't made it with the meat. Um, that was actually my first time having the mushroom uh, filled with cheese steaks. That was a few months ago because I really don't like cheese steaks um, too much, filled with cheese steaks too much. But it actually wasn't bad. At least to me, it tastes still tastes like meat. Tastes like it was a steak in there, actually, the way it tasted. So it was still good. Just just in case you all were kind of leery about how the mushrooms would taste. But we use portobellos. So those do taste more if I have like a meaty, like a more meaty texture. So I would say definitely get those if you can. The portobello kind. And that's what we use for that one. And that's what we use for this one as well. Uh-oh. Okay, and I got the cheese going. And I got the cheese cut. Let me stick it over here. On top of that, on top of this, actually. Okay, let me put this back. I might mess with the camera. Huh? That's all, okay, okay. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, I'm gonna get this thing going on. Uh, skillet. Because it says um, in the skillet, of course, when you're cooking these, it says to add, uh -oh, add the um, the onions, portobellos, or green peppers, and then cook that for about, it says saute for a minute. And like I said, last time I did it for a little bit longer because um, it was so much juice in the, in, in the pan. But then it says sprinkle in seasoning, 
and cook for about five minutes until tender after that, y'all. That's what it says. And actually, I found this recipe on Pinterest, and I will, of course, put it in the comments. Um, once, of course, this is off, I'll put it in the comments for y'all. Like I said, I hope y'all are doing well. I definitely want to come on, um, of course, to do a, another cooking demonstration, because the last one I did, shoot, I forgot when it was. It was probably like last month or so. And I don't even remember what in the world I was making, y'all. I have to go back and look at the videos. Um, but I was making something then. It was something probably vegetarian as well, I'm sure. I just don't remember what it was. Oh, it's more onions? Okay. I'm sure it was at that time, too. And can y'all let me know how y'all doing this evening and where you all are tuning in from? Because I don't know if I can see the comments. I see one comment. Okay, Pam. I'm just letting that cook because it ain't really the thing has to. Electric stoves. <laughs> and how much of the soy sauce? One tablespoon and the vegetable stock. Okay. Then one tablespoon of flour. Okay. Let me go get my water. So I'm not about to cough to death. Like I said, I hope y'all are doing well. And I hope y'all have been enjoying um, the content. I guess I put it that way as well. I know it's a very touchy um, subject about, because um, I, I know I've talked about a lot this month about um, April being um, Child Abuse Prevention Month and also Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Because I know, like I said, it's a very touchy subject and a deep subject, I guess I put it that way. Considering um, a lot of us, um, a lot of people have been, of course, sexually abused and raped and things like that so like i said i definitely want to come talk about that this month and this will be the end of that tomorrow actually so we can get back to the regular content but like i said i definitely want to bring that up um, up so I, because i know how important it is to of course work through those processes to heal from those processes and that kind of thing as well because having any kind of sexual assault rape anything child abuse when you were younger anything along those lines will affect your sex life well most people's sex life when they get older so like I said, I hope you all have been enjoying the content, even though it's been heavy content. Um, like I said, next month, April, uh, not April, May, everyone is, is, is Mother's Day. So I'm going to include more information for the ladies about their bodies, um, sex positive, I guess, uh, sex positivity, um, body positivity, and that kind of thing as well. And of course, communication. Because um, I know sometimes us ladies want to think about all these things and talk about all these things and expect all these things from our guys. And we have to know, of course, how to, of course, communicate with our fellas if we have a fella for a partner. Like I said, we'll be talking about that in May. Then in June, of course, it'll be the men's month because it, of course, is Father's Day. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. So we'll, of course, be talking about men's health, uh, men's sexual health, some mental health things in there as well. And also some communication tips and tactics and fighting fair and that kind of thing to help you all out with your female partner. So we'll talk about those two things, y'all. So let's keep that in mind. And if there's anything that you all want to see talked about, male or female, in those months, please let me know so I can definitely make sure that I include it in the content for those months. Oh, uh oh. It smells good already. <laughs> like I said, definitely let me know. Um, and I know. Well, I'm going to say I know. But as far as um, the bedroom candy and all that kind of stuff, just keep in mind, y'all, um, at 8 o'clock on the regular um, Speak Your Truth page, I will be having a, a, an unboxing tonight at 8 o'clock. Wow. Goodness gracious. So I hope that you all can come join me as well. It'll be 8 o'clock, and I'll share it to the group, too. But like I said, definitely come and check out the new awesome toys that I ordered and got coming in and all that kind of stuff so y'all can see what's going on with bedroom candy so like i said that is definitely going to be a joy i'm pretty sure i've done what two i think unboxings with bedroom candy so far like i said it's more than just adult novelties they have all types of products um bath and body skincare products for male i guess for men and women it's not just a woman's line like other um um toy lines and that kind of thing it is for men as well they have all types of products in there as well 
Lord, y'all, my allergies. But but as far as the products, like I said, they have a line called Candy Coated that has a lot of makeup. Of course, for us ladies and that kind of thing who want to dress up and put on makeup to go out and that kind of thing, they have all types of makeup. Lipsticks and eyeshadows and um, lip pencils and mascaras and blushes and all types of things. Like I said, the body care line, there's um, shea butter items as far as uh, body lotions, body creams, body sprays, all those types of things, y'all. We have all types of products. Okay, you can go. Okay, okay. Oh, it don't say we put, we'll be putting the season after a minute of sauteing. So we, we, we can definitely um, do this. Let see. Should I turn the, the pan this way? Yeah. Turn it this way? I don't know if y'all can see that, but I am not moving this pan. I mean, I mean the camera. Because it failed just a little while ago. And I was trying to do it the first time. So, we're, uh, I'm not moving it at all. At all, at all, at all. Just to let y'all know. Like I said, I hope y'all have been enjoying the content. I'll try to make sure. I'm going to actually start having some more private type of workshops, I guess I put it that way, to of course talk about some of the items that we have at Bedroom Candy and to start talking about some of the uh, other issues that we all may, may be facing. And keeping the men separate, the women separate, that kind of thing as well. Because I know we, uh, for next month, I will be having at least one uh, either on Zoom or Google Meet um, about the ladies actually, some type of class for them as well. But it'll just be the ladies only, so just keep that in mind, y'all. And I will let y'all know, of course, the topic and that kind of thing once we get closer. But like I said, if y'all have any kind of um, topics that you all want to see, any kind of content that you all want to see for next month for the ladies, um, ladies and gentlemen, just make sure that, that you all let me know. I can definitely include that. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Okay, and it says put the season in there. Okay. You can introduce yourself and be ready, Adrian. I'm going to go ahead and put the sprinkle of seasoning. I'm not going to even measure this uh, pepper and dried oregano. I never usually measure that, that much stuff anyway, so I'm just going to pour it into the thing. Oh, this has a big old holes. Let me find a small pepper hole. Oops. Not the big old hole in the pepper. <laughs> Let me find those. Lord, where's the small one? I don't know where the small one is. Oh, my. Set the fly. Here we go. Okay. I got it, y'all. The smaller one, because I've been through this whole entire thing of pepper there. It's been a mess. Very big mess, actually. But I've done stuff like that before, so mm -hmm. who knows? <laughs> but for the pepper, it only asks about it only asks for a half a teaspoon and then dried oregano, which we didn't have any of that, so we're using Italian seasoning. So that's gonna be two tablespoons of that, y'all. I don't make it up this way. And we're actually growing oregano actually in, in a, a window up there. We have our herb garden growing too. That's always awesome. Always awesome. Always awesome. It's getting stuck. Oh, you can. If you want to finish that, you have to get up to the camera though. In order to do that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna be Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Cause I'm not moving it this time. I'm not touching anything. The dog won't thing. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I'm trying to get it. It's, it keeps, I got some in it, it just keeps getting stuck. It's probably from all that um, steam coming out. I'm sure. Probably all the steam. All of it looks like we can use how many tablespoons you want, but I mean, it says two. So, <laughs> it says to sprinkle the season, cook five more minutes until tender. What about this? It didn't say add that yet. It says um, once we cook that five more minutes, it says until it's tender. And then we have to put in the flour over the veggies is one tab tablespoon and then add the soy sauce and the broth after that. So we still got to cook five minutes. Five cinco minutos. Cinco minutos. <laughs> like I said, all that water was coming in there. <laughs> so watery vegetable, I guess. Watery vegetable. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. What's the pepper? Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, hey, Gigi, how you doing? Hi, good evening. <laughs> Man, Adrian are cooking mushroom fillies tonight, actually. So I know some of the girls are asking, who, who, who is your guy and who is your partner? Is he ever going to cook with you? And 
So we made sure we came on her and did it tonight, actually. And his name is Adrian. He is actually inside of our group, too. Just to let you know. But I hope you're doing well. And definitely make sure that you put down where you're tuning in from. Should I cut the skillet down some? Yeah. You think it's okay? You cut it down some? I cut it down the side. Okay. I'll turn it back this way. Yeah, I keep staring all the way. I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. That's why I kept doing it without doing it. Okay. Because okay. it'll start sticking. Okay, yeah, I feel some of it kind of may have to put a little more oil. Well, Say it's five minutes, but, yeah, that's five minutes. But it should be all the right thing, right? Yeah. So then. Okay. And I hope y'all are doing well. Yeah, I, 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 I can, actually, I was going to show y'all with the camera up there, but earlier when I, I think it was like at 5.30 actually, when I started the first video, the doggone whole camera thing fell and my phone cut off, so I just left it alone. So you can't really see all the food, but actually Adrian's showing you the food now. If you, <laughs> cause I was like, no, I had to start everything back over again, but there's the, there's the food there, but I was like, Lord, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the phone cut off and started all back over and everything. <laughs> So I had to come back and start again, y'all. So that's why there's probably two videos on the page, I'm sure. Probably like a minute long. Go ahead. Flour. Flour. I know it's one tablespoon. Okay. One tablespoon. I know it's getting starting to stick now. I'm like, Lord, this thing. So one ta one tablespoon flowers. Flour, flour. I don't have a knife, but this should be alright. About like that. Maybe a little bit less, but it's okay. And I put this flour up. Uh, okay. And it said a fourth of bra. I had to cut. Oh, you already put. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and I forgot to tell y'all, y'all. Adrian knows how to cook. I put it. He cooks way better than I do. So, <laughs> way better than I do, actually. I can still cook, but yeah, he knows how to cook all kind of southern foods and different things, and that I have not yet um, tried to cook yet. But <laughs> he knows how to cook a lot of stuff, y'all. <laughs> uh oh, oh, you turn. I'll oh, turn it back up. And then it says, "Oh, I gotta put the soy sauce." Oh, you gotta put the soy sauce. Okay, okay, okay. So I guess that's it. It just stirs until it says stir for a few more minutes, about five minutes, and then. But it's gonna be liquidy still. Okay. It's not okay. That's why I turned the heat up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I know it smells good. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if we ain't probably, I don't want to make, I don't care about making anything else with it. I don't know if we wanted to make something else with it. Okay. I don't know if we had no fries in the freezer forever. Maybe it's going to be stale by the time we eat the stuff. But it's all right. We did have those cubes of sweet potatoes, but now we ain't going to have time to cook it right now. But we had those sweet potatoes left over. So I'll put this stuff back in the refrigerator. Bill pepper and the stock. Stocky, stocky, stocky. <sighs> All right. Oh, we're making um portobello mushroom fillies. Um, instead of like the actual Philly cheese steak, we're actually making a vegan, a be well, vegetarian um, dish, and it's, it has mushrooms instead. The portobello mushrooms. That's what we're making. Um, it's made with, of course, the mushrooms, uh, the same way you make a Philly cheese steak, with the mushrooms, the um, onions, the bell peppers, oregano, black pepper. Um, a little bit of flour, vegetable stock, some um, soy sauce, and bread and cheese. So, like I said, we're definitely making that. I think I made this before, maybe like a few months ago on my, on my regular page, I believe. So, like I said, these this is just, um, we, well, I love this recipe. It tastes really good to me. I know he liked it as well. So, so we decided to go ahead and make it again. Um, and that's what we're making, some um, portobello mushroom fillies. And those are the only um, mushrooms that we've ever used for this recipe. I don't know if you can use the regular um, white, I don't know what they're called, mushroom caps, I don't even know what they're called. But I would suggest using the, um, the portobellos because to me they still taste like meat. The button mushroom. Yeah, the button ones. I don't know if you can use that for this kind of recipe. You probably can. Okay, well, Adrian said you probably can use it for this kind of recipe. You probably can mix them as well. I know um, some of the recipes I saw on there, I don't know what the name of the mushrooms were because they, they look like stalks, like little white stalks or something. I don't, I don't know what they were called. But they um they had some other mushrooms and some of the other recipes as well. But like I said, for us it's portobellos for this one. Portobellos, um portobello mushroom fillies. 
And we do have a long um, French loaf. You probably can't see it over here, but we have a long French loaf that we're going to be dipping it, um, putting it into, to fill it into. And it's a very, very long loaf, y'all. <laughs> but we're not going to eat this whole thing anyway, but it's a soft French bread. I got this for like 99 cents at Snooks, actually. So that was a good deal. I'll put this cheese back. Oops. No. Okay. Put that Same thing. So it should be tasty and like I said you can use whatever kind of bread you want to use you don't have to use a french roll you can use um, ciabatta or whatever kind of bread you want to use and, and that you like um, a hoagie rolls yeah he just said hoagie rolls you can use that um, and any kind of cheese that you want we're, uh, we're using the shredded mozzarella but I'm sure you can use um, gouda or habardi brie or any kind of cheese that you want so like I said that taste has to be yours or whatever you, you decide to use Awesome. 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 Okay. Sit there for about five minutes. You just, I mean, my three minutes. You're done. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right now. So I guess we gotta. I put this on. Oh. Uh, you can actually turn it off. Turn it off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause you just wait for it to take off. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Cool then. All right then. Cool then. I'm gonna put this back. This um, soy sauce and stuff. Oh, the top over here for the salt. I don't know why I didn't say salt, but I don't know because they had soy sauce. I don't know. Yeah, but I just put a little salt in it. Oh, that's fine, yeah. I'm just wondering why I didn't say salt in it, but usually salt isn't always in there. You had soy sauce and you had, uh. Oh, the stock. Yeah. That's right, okay. The stock, okay. 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 Okay.